I'm in. It's good, my dudes. I'm gonna see you. We're just now tuning in. Getting started. We'll be having an all levels yoga practice today. I have Instagram over here. We have TikTok over here. We are flowing. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Yes, we're just now turning on, tuning in. We'll be having an all levels donation based yoga practice today. We're going to be going subscribers only in just a moment when we get started with the flow, but I wanted to turn on a little bit early, let everybody join in. Yes, so if you want to make yourself at home, ground into your space, wherever you may be today, whether you're tuning on from Instagram or the TikTok, you're welcome to be here, make yourself at home. Yes, hello, my name is Gavin, aka Avatar G, aka Zen. Welcome in, welcome in today. We're going to be having an all levels yoga practice. If you can hear me okay, maybe... Let me know with a sunflower emoji. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Groovy. I'll be jumping between the screens. It seems like my dudes are mostly on the Instagram over here. So maybe giving more focus to this one. Yes, otherwise. But we'll be sharing equal energy to both live streams. Yes, indeed. As I mentioned, we're going to go. We're going to go subscribers only on the TikTok in just a moment. But right now you can make yourself at home. Maybe allow yourself to set up your space with a mat here. If you want to get grounded into a meditative seat before we get going, just allow yourself to collect yourself in your personal space. Make yourself at home wherever you may be. And if you want to get any props to help you with your flow today, maybe like a towel or a block that can assist you throughout the practice, you're more than welcome to do this. Get some water, maybe a journal, so that any time, any time anything is jumping out to you and you want to take note and write this down, you're welcome to. Awesome. Good to see you, my dudes. Welcome in, welcome in. Once again, my name is Gavin, a.k.a. Zen, a.k.a. Avatar G. We're just now getting started. We're going to get flowing at 8 p.m., so allow yourself to ground into the space. I'm seeing y'all in the sunflowers. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for being here today, my dudes, my dudes. Yes, indeed. Like I said, this is an all levels asana, pranayama, and dhyana practice. Asana being the movement posture portion. When you think of yoga, typically we think of asana, postures, how we're flowing. Though there's also pranayama, breath work, moving breath force, breath, life force energy through our body. There's also dhyana, focus, and meditation. And today we'll be practicing these three limbs of yoga. Absolutely. Absolutely. So if you want to ground into your space, allow yourself to just take some breaths for yourself, knowing that every bit of your experience is welcome here in this practice. Yes. Yes. Sitting back into the seat and allowing yourself to simply practice being the witness of one's reality. And if now is the time you wish to establish some intentions for your practice today, you're welcome to do this. If there's something you want to focus on, something you want to continue cultivating throughout your time and space, you can bring your awareness to this, that what it is that you wish to call in and continue to grow within your own personal flow. And every exhale, you can practice letting go, you can practice surrendering, you can practice releasing all of your worries, your attachments, your expectations, even your excitement. You can let it all go and you can practice grounding into the flow. Groovy, my dudes. As I mentioned, we'll be beginning today's practice with a brief meditation and the easy beginner's breath work. Knowing that our breath is our tether to this present moment. Breath, in Sanskrit being prana, being life force energy. The connection of the soul, breathing in the soul. The soul is the connection to one's spirit, the solo aspect and personal connection and the practice of yoga is learning how to bring our mind, our body and our breath 
into union. Through practices like asana, postures, movement, we can slow down, we can get out of our mind and into our body. And we can align our breathing with our moving so we don't have time to even think. Practices like dhyana, meditation, allow us to sit back and sit at the witness and observe the ex experience without attaching or judging or identifying with the various sensations that we may be experiencing. In. Pranayama, breath work, through conscious awareness of moving the breath, the prana throughout the body, we can be so focused on this practice of breathing that we don't even have the energy to think. This helps us sit in meditation and be still with our thoughts. Same for the practice of asana, to get some of that excess energy moving so that when we're seated, it's much easier to be in stillness because there's not much going on up here because it's already down here in our body. So we're going to start today's practice with a brief, brief silent meditation if you aren't, aren't doing so already. <coughs> then a brief, prana, brief pranayama breath work practice. Then an asana practice, we'll go peak, we'll, we'll find our stretch, we'll find our edge in the asana, and then we'll slow it down with another basic pranayama breathwork exercise and another very brief meditation. Fantastic. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. If you're just now joining or if you've been here for a bit, we're now going to get started. Yes, it's 8 o'clock on the dot. I'm going to go ahead and turn subscribers only on the TikTok over here just so we don't have random individuals jumping in the comment section, but you're always welcome to sit here, vibe, and be with us tonight. Absolutely. Knowing that at any time, any time your intuition is calling you to move in a different direction, I am simply offering you guidance. I am no God. If at any time your body is asking to do something different, I encourage you to listen to your heart, listen to your intuition, listen to those callings within. In the path of yoga, we move with courage. We are brave. If at any time you're feeling discouraged, resistance, I want you to sit with it. Don't force it. If it's a sharp, burning pain that you know is not good for you, don't do it. But if it's a subtle discomfort that you know is where growth really begins, that growing kind of pain, I want you to take a step back and breathe into it. Listen to your body. Each posture that we'll be holding today will be three to five breaths. I'll set up the shape, but I'm not going to hold it the entire time so I can stay grounded and lead the flow. My cue word for when we are switching from one shape to the other will be, now begin. When I say the words, now begin, this is when you'll know to start to, okay, get my mind moving to the next shape. Solid? Making sense? Fantastic. Groovy enough chit-chat for a moment. I just want to allow you a second to catch your breath. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to sit back here on the seat. I'm going to be able to see the screen as well to be able to read if there's any comments happening. So this will be our moment to just ground into our own personal spaces here together in this shared space. Knowing that you are safe. Knowing that you are safe. You are held here. The ground supports you, holds you up. The breath brings fresh life into the body. Allowing yourself a moment to tune into your breathing. Maybe closing your eyes to guide your awareness inward, bringing your awareness to your third eye center. Slowing down with your breath. Breathing through both nostrils to your belly. Maybe bringing your right palm to your belly and breathing up to your heart. Maybe your left hand rests on your heart space. You inhale up, your shoulder blades roll down, back. Your crown lengthens up towards the sky, and as you inhale, and you exhale, you hold. Maybe listening or feeling the heartbeat with that left palm, and feeling the belly empty as 
you release the breath from your body. Ancient practice stemming from the lands of India reminds us that the breath is the connecting essence of everything. Everything is connected by the breath. Our quality of breathing affects our quality of life. so tightly, we can practice exhaling, releasing all of the worries, the doubts, the fears, the limiting beliefs, that which is no longer serving me, we can release, we can exhale, we can practice letting go. And the inhale invites fresh life, belief, breathing into that which you wish to see. Holding it in your mind's eye for just a moment. And we're going to exhale, letting go of it. Practicing, surrendering, practicing, letting go. Finding your own rhythm and allowing yourself a moment. time the mind begins to wander and ramble or become distracted, you can call upon the breath once again, bringing you back to this present moment. You can breathe in so loud that nobody can, that you, that you can hear it, that maybe even your neighbors can hear it. Breathe in so loud that nobody won't notice. <laughs> Exhale, release it. Allow yourself to let go. Allow yourself to be silly. Allow yourself to breathe. If you want to sigh, you can do this. You don't have to take it so seriously. We're just breathing. Beautiful. For the beginning of our breath work, our breathing exercise today will be simply creating a brief circuit of breathing. Be practicing inhaling to our fullest capacity. We'll hold that breath, known as an inhale retention. We'll hold that breath for just a moment. We'll exhale, we'll release all the breath from the body. And then we'll hold empty of no breath for a moment, called an exhale retention, feeling what it's like to be empty of the breath from the body. Amazing. We'll do this for five, seven, nine breaths, just to allow ourselves to develop a rhythm. And wherever you may be, if you want, you can exhale, you can practice, you can release the breath from the body, you can sigh if you wish. And we'll inhale through the nostrils as much as you can. Hold it at the top. Roll your shoulders back. Shift your breath from your chest to your belly. Exhale, release the breath, either pressing it out through the nostrils or exhaling with a sigh. Release. Hold empty at the bottom if you may for just a second today. Good. Inhale. To your belly. Hold it. Exhale. 
exhale, practicing non-attachment, releasing the breath from the body. Holding empty. Challenging yourself. You got this. Two more seconds. Inhale. Like you want it. Fresh life into your body. Like it's yours. Hold it. Like you have it. Just for a moment. Exhale, let it go. Hold it at the top. Hold empty at the bottom. Inhaling back in. Breathing as much life as you can into your human. Hold it. Maybe breathe in a little bit more. Maybe one more sip, like you might just float right off of your seat. Hold it. Good. Now exhale it, gently release, softening in the jaw. I'm clenching the teeth, the temples, the cheeks. Ah, release. Hold empty if you wish for just a moment. Now return to a natural rhythm of breathing, allowing yourself to close your eyes and feel the effects returning to your center, your space today. Includes our pranayama, dhyana portion, at least of the beginning portion of practice. We're going to transition into asana. To begin, we'll start in balasana, child's pose. Finding our way, making our way out of this seat, getting our energy moving. Actually, before we even get there, no hurry to get right to the asana. Let's just stand right up. Get this energy moving, circulating. If you want to stretch one way or another, you want to bend one knee. One arm, you can do this if you want to take circles with your neck. Take some natural stretches, whatever is good for you. You want to jump up and down, shake it out. Dude, this is your house. Do what you wish. It's totally okay. You're allowed to make some noise sometimes, I promise. Get that circulation moving. Now we're ready. We'll find our way into Velocina. We'll ground it. Child's pose with the big toes behind us touching. Knees find their way to the wide edges of the mat. We sit back onto the heels. Before we fold forward, let's sit back here. Maybe press the hands, place the hands on the knees, and open up, pull the heart open, lift the chin forward, lift up with the crown, don't crunch the back of the neck, just inhale up here. Hands up to the sky. Lengthening up through your, your palms, Hugging your biceps to your ears. Inhale up. Exhale round only at your shoulder blades. Maintaining the length in the spine. Posture is everything. Our spine is how we move throughout life. We walk our hands as far forward as we can. And when we're ready, we exhale. We gently release. We drop our crown towards the floor. Allowing yourself a moment here today. No matter how many times you've taken this shape, I want you to imagine that this is your first time here. As you inhale, lengthening your hands up to the wide edge of the mat as high as you can. And as you exhale, softening in those shoulder blades, letting your heart melt a little bit closer to the floor, your tailbone back towards your toes. Next inhale, walk the hands to the top left corner of the mat. Maybe even stacking the right hand on top of the left. And 
reaching, breathing from that right hip up your rib cage into your armpits, your forearm to your fingertips, breathing up through that right side body and in, the, in child's pose. Or you can hold here like me too. Exhale, holding. When you begin the next inhale, you can walk your hands to the top left corner of the mat. Same thing, opposite side. Stacking that left hand on top of the right. Breathing from that left hip all the way up into the ribs. Weaving up into the armpit, the bicep, the forearm, the fingertips. And as you exhale, soften into the stance. Good. Keeping that rhythm going that we started cultivating at the beginning of practice. Inhale, hands back to the center. Exhale, side out. Fold even further than before. One more great inhale here. This time I want you to bring your awareness to your shoulder blades. The space behind your heart, the back of the heart space. Breathing back here, I think this is where the shadow sits, if you ask me. The point of the self that we can't really see. Inhaling to the back of the heart. Bring your awareness to your shadow. And exhaling, integrating, releasing any shame or judgment or worry. We root our hands onto the earth. Open up your palms as wide as you can, holding hands with the floor before you grip. And then as you exhale, pull yourself forward, stacking your shoulders above your wrists. Bring your hips in underneath, your knees underneath your hips, finding a neutral tabletop stance. Allow yourself just a moment here. When's the last time you were on all fours? You want to kick one leg back to get that circulation going, you can do this. Same thing on the other side. Yes, taking any adjustments that are necessary for you today. And when you're ready, exhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze, lift your tailbone. Inhale, press away, breathing into the back of that heart space. Inhaling down to your toes, pressing your nose towards your hips, rounding your crown towards your knees. Like a cat afraid of water, cat pose. Exhale for cow, drop your belly, lift your gaze. One more time, inhale, press away. Exhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze. Begin to press into the left hand. Inhale the right hand forward. Just here. Allowing yourself a moment to reach from that right shoulder blade to the palm. All the way through the hand. Root in the left hand, the left hand stacked underneath the left shoulder. Exhale, hold here. With the next inhale, lift the left leg behind you. If you want to stay here, you can. If you want support, you can drop onto those toes. So the left toes are on the earth, but the leg is still extended. If you want to challenge your balance, you can lift the left heel. Toes face the ground, right hand forward. One line from elbow to knee. Inhaling. Exhaling, hold it. You got it. Challenge yourself and sit with your breath. One more great inhale here. Exhale, this time round. Bring your elbow to your nose, your knee to your nose. Round in your body. Supported tiger's pose. Press up into that left hand. Press up into the back of the shoulder blades. Inhale here for a moment. Exhale, release today. 
Let's do that two more times. You got this. Breath to motion. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, extend. You got it. Begin to channel some fire within. One more time. Inhale, bring it in. Good. Exhale, extend it. Doing your best to keep your back in motion. Drop the right hand underneath the right shoulder. Left knee falls underneath the hip. You can lift that left hand up. Get that circulation moving. Solid. Not bad. Lift the hands up. Find your way here. Once more in neutral tabletop, we'll root into the left palm when we're ready. Inhale the right hand forward. Same thing, reaching from that right shoulder blade, extending it out as far as we can, inhaling into the right hand. Exhaling, holding here, centering out in the hips, reaching the tailbone back between the heels. Lengthening through the crown as we inhale. Maybe drop the third eye towards the ground. As we exhale, we'll lift the left leg, root in the right knee. Same thing, opposite side. If we want to take support here, we can drop off that left toes. Excuse me, we're actually on the opposite side, silly me. So left hand is extended, right toes back. Now if you're in the flow, I'm sure you already know, we're doing the same thing on the opposite side. Left hand is extended, right is reaching back with the heel. Root in that right palm underneath the right shoulder blade. Inhale, lengthen through the crown, back through the tailbone. Exhale, hold. Good. Radically accepting every bit of the experience, breathing into your center as far as you can. Exhale, bowing to yourself, bending, bringing that right knee to your abdomen, your elbow to your belly, pressing up to the right hand for a supported tiger's pose. Inhale here. Exhale, let go. Two more times, breath to motion, inhale in. Exhale, extend. Good. One more time. Inhale. You got this. Exhale. Length. Dropping that left hand. Right knee follows. Lift up that right palm. Get that circulation going. Walk it out. And when you're ready, activate the toes behind you and press up along your feet, lengthening through the legs, finding your way to forward fold. Uttanasana. You can allow yourself to be heavy here for a moment. If you want to take a halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, you can do this to get your circulation moving. Like I said, this is your practice. You listen to your body. If you want to stand, you can do that. If it's too much to keep your head heavy for too long, you can do that. Keep your circulation going. We're getting our blood flowing all the way up to our toes, to our nose, and back down. Circulation is key. When you're ready, we'll find our way back to a forward fold. Groovy. If you want, you can go for a ragdoll here by holding opposite elbows. Awesome. You can also open up the heart by reaching the hands behind you, clasping the palms, bringing them back here. We're rooted in the heels. We can even lift the toes off the ground. Pressing back into the seat, lengthening through the body, the crown. Wherever we are, we're letting our upper half still be heavy. <sighs> Good. One more exhale here, imagining all of the density that would use to be ready to release, dripping off the crown, dropping to your feet, offering to the earth beneath. We inhale, we halfway lift, we bring our fingertips up the shins, back body parallel to the floor beneath us. Crown lengthens, tailbone back. We exhale, we forward fold. We inhale, we rise one vertebrae at a time. The crown is the last to rise, the hands up along the sides. Eagle standing pose, standing up straight as much as you can. 
Pressing down to your heels, lengthening up through your hands, engaging your core, exhaling, holding here. Allowing yourself to take up space. Feeling into the edges of your being. Breathe. And then exhaling, bringing your hands together through heart center. Samastitehi. Anjali Mudra. Prayer palms at heart center. One line from elbow to elbow. The shoulders roll back and down. We exhale, we sigh it out. Maybe even close the eyes and allow ourselves a moment for ourselves. Thanking yourself for showing up today. Thanking every cell within your body for cooperating and continuing to co-create this experience. We exhale, we fold forward, bowing to ourselves. Release our hands to the ground. We place them to the earth. We step back to downward facing dog. Adha Mukha Svanasana. We can walk the heels out here. Keep that circulation moving until we root them. Lengthening back through the legs. Pressing the tailbone away from the face. The hands away from the nose. Pressing the heart towards the toes. We inhale. We hold. We exhale, we let go, we hold. Allow yourself to be here for two more full body breaths. Breathing to your tailbone. Breathing to the back of the heart space. Exhaling, softening in your face. Good. One more inhale, lengthen up through that back leg, the right heel lifts high to the sky. Exhale, bend your knee to your nose, tiger's pose. Inhale, hold, press into the hands, lengthen through the back body. Exhale, step that right foot between the hands. High lunge. If you want to take a supported lunge, drop onto that back knee. If you want to stay here in high lunge, you can keep that back leg active. You can find your way up by bringing your right hand to your knee, left hand follows, hands to the sky. We inhale, hugging our biceps to our ears. We exhale, bring our hands to heart center. Hold here, lengthen through the back leg, exhale. Good. One more inhale. Lengthen through your crown here. Lengthen through the back body. Exhale. Fold up the hips. Hinging forward. Now bring that left elbow 90 degrees to the outside of the right knee. Subtle twist across the body. Twists are great for purging and releasing stagnant energy. Holding here or maybe opening up the hands in the heart space. Good. Finding your edge today. Bend back into that right knee. Reach back to that left heel. Inhale wherever you are. Exhale back to your center. Rotate that back foot 90 degrees. Warrior two stance. Via Vrasana two. Rise up and draw your bow. Exhale. Bend into that front knee. Right knee stacks above right ankle, left ankle 90 degrees, perpendicular. Hands balance as best as you can, maybe looking back at the back hand, doing your best to keep them parallel. Inhaling in, exhale, drop your back hand along the back leg, right hand rises to the sky. Good, hold here, inhale. Exhale, hold, bend into that front knee. Bottom of the exhale, rotate that back hand up, the right hand forward, cartwheeling, stacking the left hand above the right shoulder, inhale here. Exhale, hold. Bring that left hand back to the floor, both hands along that front foot, back foot rotates forward. We lift the right foot, step back, three-legged dog, take any natural motions that you need to to get that energy moving through the hip. 
and then we step back, downward facing dog once again. We'll meet in the middle of the mat, walking the feet in, walking the hands back, halfway lift. Forward fold, to halfway lift. To forward fold once again. We inhale, we rise, one vertebrae at a time. We exhale, hands together through heart center. We inhale, we hold. We exhale, we fold forward. Hands to the floor, bending into the knees, stepping back once more, now we're facing dog. Walking through the heels here. Inhale, lengthen through your tail, press your hands away from your face. Exhale, soften in your stance, allow yourself a moment to check in. How's it feel right now that we've been doing it for a bit? Awesome, inhale, left heel high to the sky, lengthen up through that leg, press those hands away from the face. Exhale, curl your knee up towards your nose, shift your weight forward, tiger's pose. And step that left hand between the left foot between the hands. We can stay here in high lunge stance or we can drop onto that right knee for support. If you want to stay active, press into that right heel, bring that hands up to the knee. Inhale up. Exhale, hands together through heart center. Shoulders stacked above the hips. Left knee stacks above left ankle, right leg extended behind us. Hands together through heart center. Groovy. Inhaling. Exhale, fold forward. Rotate 90 degrees, same thing, opposite side. Bring that right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Same thing, you got this. Inhale, lengthen through your crown, lengthen through that back heel, hold here. And maybe bring, open up the hands. Go for a half twist, half bind, listening to your body, finding your variation today. One more inhale here, exhale back to center. Hands together around that front foot, back foot 90 degree spin. Warrior two stance, same thing opposite side. Vira, Vrasana, two, we rise, we draw our bow, we exhale, we bend. Looking at both arms, doing our best to keep them parallel. Left knee stacks above left ankle. Right ankle is perpendicular, 90 degrees. And we settle in. Awesome, it's good to see you, warriors. We inhale once again. Exhale, drop that back hand along the back leg. Right hand to the sky. Inhale here. Exhale, cartwheel forward. Left hand to the inside of the left leg. Right hand stacks above, pressing away. Maybe even reaching back for the half bind here. Good. Still bent in that left knee. Inhaling. You got this. Exhale, hand to the earth. Both hands along the front foot. Back foot faces forward. Find our balance. When we're ready, we lift that left heel and we send it up once more, three-legged dog, taking any hip openers or stretches we need to keep that energy moving. Three-legged dog, puppy's thirsty. Keep that moving, beating downward dog. Just a moment here, and then we walk to the middle of the mat for forward fold with Tanasana. Good. Inhale, we halfway lift. Exhale, we forward fold once again. Inhale, we rise one vertebrae at a time. Hands alongside the crown. Exhale, hands together through our center. Good. We forward fold. We can release the hands here. We begin to root into the left foot. We begin to root in the left foot. We're going to rise one vertebrae at a time like we've been doing. But we're going to rise into a one-legged standing pose onto that left leg. So root into that left heel. 
And as you rise one vertebrae at a time, that right ankle begins to rise to the point where it lifts off the earth. The hands can make their way along the sides of the body, pressing into that left heel. Right foot is flexed, toes can breathe. Biceps are hugging to the ears. We lengthen through that left leg. And we exhale, we lengthen through the right leg. We bend our hands together through heart center. We inhale, right knee 90 degrees once more. Nice balance, everybody. Exhale, extend once again. This time, if you wish, you can find your way to a baby tree pose. Bringing your right heel, soul, to your left calf, not your knee, below the knee, a sapling, holding here a baby tree. Good. If you're ready to go deeper, you can bring that right hand to that right ankle and bring your right sole up into your left quad, not the knee, either the quad or the calf, or keeping the right foot rooted on the earth on the tip of the right toes, balancing on the big toes. Finding your balance in your center, it helps to find a focal point known as a dristi, a point of awareness that you can continue to return to. Root into that left heel. And when you're ready, maybe begin dancing. Feel what it's like to feel the breeze in your branches here in Vrksasana, tree pose. If you could be any kind of tree, what would you be? Maybe opening up your wings. No need to show off. No need to impress anybody. Stay grounded. You got it. Roll your shoulders back. One more breath. And you can stay here as long as you wish. If you're ready to keep flowing, you can release your hands. You can lift that right leg up from the left leg, return it back to center, exhale, send it outward, making sure you don't step on your dog, inhale your hands up to the sky, exhale, bring your right foot back to the floor, hands heart center, forward fold. Good, release your hands, keep that energy moving, we inhale, we halfway lift, we exhale, we forward fold. We inhale, we rise, one vertebrae at a time. We exhale, samasipe. Folding forward once more. Release the hands, this time rooting into the right heel. Noticing the subtle differences between one side and the other, not judging yourself, being easy on yourself. We root into the right heel. We inhale, we rise, one vertebrae at a time, and as we do so, that left foot begins to hover. Bring it to 90 degrees. The hands can make their way up alongside the body as well. As we exhale, we can bring our hands together through heart center and we can lengthen through that left leg. Finding our stance on that right foot today, keeping those shoulders <coughs> stacked above the hips. Doing our best to keep our heart open. We can inhale, keep that knee level, that foot flexed. And when we're ready, we can exhale, we can drop to a baby tree, our left sole onto our right calf, sapling on the opposite side. Being patient with yourself, being easy, adjusting accordingly. And when you're ready, if you wish, you can bring your left hand to your left ankle and invite your left sole to your right quad. Same thing opposite side, not on the knee, either in the quad or on the calf. We're not pressing on the bend. Either way, we find our balance. We bring our hands up above us if we can. We exhale, prayer pulse to heart center. If this is too much a challenge, we can also keep the toes of the left foot simply on the ground, 90 degrees, balancing with the top of the toes on the earth. Otherwise, we can try dancing. What kind of trees do you want growing in your garden? Breathe in.
your branches to the wind, and then exhale, bring some of that sunlight to your center. And when you're ready, you can exhale, you can let go. Drop that left sole back to center. Release your hands to the earth and bend into your knees as much as you can so your belly makes its way on to your quads. And then we'll place our hands onto the earth, maybe even root them onto the earth and pull ourselves forward to crack any little vertebrae in the back body if we need to. And then we begin to balance on the tips of our toes. The tops of the toes are balanced so that the heels are lifted. The hands can stay here for support on either side or in front of us. We can find our way back to slowly but surely balance on the tops of the toes. Maybe lift one hand up, then the other, or both. Lengthening up through the crown, reaching down to the tail, keeping the spine elongated, bringing the hands together through heart center. Good balance, you got this. Awesome. When's the last time you did this? This is awesome. When you're ready, you can release those hands and you can find your way to a seat. <sighs> Slowing down, we're finding our way to the end of practice. Lengthen out the feet. Press the hands along the sides, keep that energy moving. You're still here though. When you're ready, invite that right heel right knee into your body, hugging the right knee up to your abdomen. Maybe give him a little kiss, saying thank you, right knee. Thank you, yang side of the body. Thank you, yang soul, for keeping me balanced, for keeping me whole, for keeping me in harmony, for letting me show up and shine onto this world. We hug that right knee into the right elbow crease. We hug that right soul into the left elbow crease, maybe, and we swaddle that knee like a little baby opening up in the Hip space here, rocking back and forth and to and fro. Yes, allowing ourselves to flow. And then when we're ready, we'll gently release that right leg and we'll drop the right sole across the left leg. And we're just going to hold here today. We're going to hug him in. Hug him in tight, but also making sure that our spine is aligned, our back is straight, that you're reaching through that left foot. If you want to go extra fancy and flexy today, you can bring that right hand behind you. Listen to your body. Bring that left hand on the outside of that right knee and press away. But I'm honestly just encouraging you to hold that space here, hugging up, opening in the outside of the hip, and just allowing yourself a moment to sit. We've been doing some good work today. Two, three more breaths here. You got this. Awesome. The next exhale, you begin to release the hands, lifting up that leg and sending it away. Press the hands along the sides. Keep the balance going. Then we inhale the left knee to the body. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, yin soul, for keeping me balanced, for keeping me whole, for keeping me in harmony, for allowing me to continue to tune in, turn inward, dive into my creative essence that cannot be created, nor destroyed, nor defined. May we hug our left knee into our left elbow crease, our left soul into our right elbow crease, and swallow that babe like the baby she is, our divine feminine, our yin. Keeping it in balance, we swaddle and we rock to and fro. Ain't nothing wrong with a little self-care. Maybe give her a little kiss, saying thank you for all that you do. And when you're ready, you can release. You can drop that left leg over the right knee. And you can just hug into the body once again, same thing opposite side. Opening up on the outside of that left hip here. Hugging up through the shoulders, the back body, and then allowing yourself to rest. Or if you want to go for a little bit more of a stretch, you can bring that left hand behind you. 
That right hand reaches around and presses away. Well, I'm just encouraging you to sit here today. Three, five breaths, whatever you need. Beautiful. Beautiful. When you're ready, you can release that left leg and you can send it out to the right once more. Keep that energy going. Waddling out through the legs, pressing the hands along the sides, then pressing the hips to the heels. Bending in the knees, bringing the feet flat on the floor. Planting the feet, knees 45 degrees. We're going to find our way onto our back bodies. If you can, if you don't have a puppy behind you. <laughs> Looks like she wants to be my, my cushion today. I could actually use this. Thanks, doggo. Allow yourself to fold back. <laughs> Allow yourself to fold back onto your back body. Find yourself to your elbows, your biceps, your shoulder blades. Roll your shoulders back and down, lengthen through your crown, press into your heels. Uh, exhale. Allow yourself a moment here. Just be flat on your back with your knees bent. You can bring your hands out to a T to open up in the heart space. You can bring your right palm to your belly, your left palm to your heart to follow your breath into your body. You can bring your hands behind you as a pillow. You can use them as a pillow as a shade. And then when you're ready, one more inhale to your belly. Exhaling, sigh, practicing, melting. And at the bottom of that exhale, walk your feet together. Bring your soul to souls together. Soul to soul connection. When your souls have met, let your knees open up for a supine butterfly. We're laying flat on our backs. Our knees are in butterfly stance. We allow ourselves to surrender and let gravity do the work for us here. Remembering that your breath is your tether to this present moment. That any time you're finding yourself distracted, losing focus, you can call upon your breath to return to your intention. What it is that you want to continue to call into your space. What it is that you wish to continue to practice. a part of that circuit of breathing that we established at the beginning of class where you breathe in for four or five seconds you hold that breath for four or five seconds you exhale for four or five seconds you hold empty for four or five seconds you can do this at your own rhythm at your own wish I'll let you dive in shape for a few more breaths. I 
I like to think that the breath is this portal to this present moment. With intention, we can choose which channel or radio station or frequency we're tuning into by breathing into it. And then exhaling, releasing all the static, the noise, the nonsense. If you feel pretty complete with this shape, you can begin to flap your butterfly wings gently, 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 and then bringing them together. the knees have made contact, you can walk the soles of the feet apart. Still laying on our backs. Now supine broken bridge. Feet are apart, knees are together. We're just out here laying. Feeling this on the outside of the hips since the opposite stretch to the butterfly just to move in the opposite direction. A couple of breaths here. We won't be here as long. belly, walking your feet back together, and hugging your knees into your body. Both knees, hugging them together, wrapping your arms around them, allowing yourself a moment to rock and roll on your back body, your back on the earth, maybe using the floor or your mat as a masseuse to get out any lingering density or tension in the back body. Rocking and rolling side to side to a fro. It's okay if you fall to the side. It's okay if you look silly and you explode. We're just here having fun. Don't even take it so seriously. Let yourself get that energy moving, returning to a time when all we did was play, roll around. Good. And when you're ready, you begin to find your way into Ananda Alasana. Happy baby. Onto your back body, hugging your knees up towards your armpits. Bring your peace fingers together. Bring your peace fingers between your big toe and your pointer toe on both feet. Big toe and pointer toe between your big toe and your middle toe. And then stretching one leg or the other or both. Or bringing your heart up and lengthening through your crown, cracking the back of the shoulder blades, allowing yourself a moment to remember a time when all you had to do was lay on your back and let the world take care of you. The world is still taking care of you. She never stopped taking care of you. She still supports you from day one and she just wants you to let go and let her take care of you. Stop kicking and fighting so much. It's making the whole changing process much more complicated. The more that we can just practice surrendering, the easier it is for everybody. <laughs> Allow yourself to practice. Imagine what it's like being a happy baby. And when you're over that, you can release your hands from your feet. And you can hug your knees back into your body. yourself a good squeeze. You can thank every atom, every cell within your being for showing up today and giving its best of its ability for doing what it can to practice this thing that we call yoga to continue to align and weave and braid and bring together our mind, our body, and our breath. Yes, thanking your body, your mind, your breath for being present today and giving its best. Allowing yourself a moment to hug it all in, giving yourself a great squeeze like the hug you've been waiting for all week, inhaling, a little bit more, another sip, you've got this, breathe it in, when you can no longer exhale, release it, blossom, bloom, let yourself unfold, lengthen through your arms, your legs, softening into Shavasana, the final shape, resting pose. While you lay here, I'll play some guitar to close out practice today.
Shavasana is one of the most important shapes, asanas, in the practice for resting, our final resting posture, dead man's pose, is key to preparing us for this journey that we call life. So allow yourself to practice releasing that which is that you're ready to release. Putting to rest that which you're ready to put to rest. like we began practice returning to a seat with your shoulders stacked above your hips your crown lengthening up of your abdomen pressing down to your tailbone and inhaling up into your hands reaching into your palms and exhaling bringing your hands together Prayer palms the heart center. Rolling your shoulders down and back and allowing yourself a moment for yourself. 
bowing your third eye to your thumbs, bowing your mind to your body, thanking yourself for showing up today. Allow yourself a moment with this connection here to bring your hands together to begin to create some friction, some fire between your palms. Hold it. Separate your hands for just a moment. Inhale in. Breathe it in. This is your flame. This is your connection here today. Exhale, release it, carrying it back to your heart once more. Thank you for being here today, for showing up for yourself. Thank you for showing up for every cell in your body. The creator within me honors, admires, and appreciates the creator within you. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Thank you for being here today. Absolutely. The comments are open if you have any questions, if you have any feedback. This recording will be up on my YouTube within a day or so. This is a donation-based class, so if you found any value in this and you wish to express this, you can do so through the Cash App, the Venmo, PayPal, Zelle. Those are all in the links. We do this every single Sunday. This is not required. Your presence is a gift. So if you found any value in this, let it be known that most practices are 15 to 20 dollars depending on where you are so if you wish to even just drop a dollar every little bit counts will help me keep the lights on so we can keep doing this every single week so if you found this and you wish to continue to enjoy this practice it definitely doesn't hurt and the cash app the venmo is gavin zen g-a-v-i-n-z-e-n paypal zell is in the bio but that's for that if you're interested otherwise i appreciate you being here today thank you for sharing this time and space Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. You know what happens when we turn the sub only comments off? We sometimes get all sorts of random comments on here, so I'm gonna just jump off here before we just get a bunch of random comments in here, unless we have some proper feedback and anybody actually wants to talk about what's happening here. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for showing up for yourself. I'm gonna let you ground into your own space. You don't have to say a dang thing. Allow yourself to enjoy the process, process, the process. Absolutely. Take care of yourself. Godspeed. Godspeed.